solve problem. One maid can clean the house in three hours. Another maid can do the job in six hours. How long will it take them to do the job working together? How do we write the equation for this kind of problems? Sunny, do you know how to start this? No, I'm not sure. Okay, Ryan, how about you? With the, with the microphone. I want to put three over six, and then but I'm not sure what you would put the next like fashion it would be X or whatever. Okay, let's take a look at how to uh, set up this work bubble. First step in this problem is to understand and translate. We're going to let T equal the time in hours for the first maid and the other maid to clean the house together. We'll make the table to organize the information that are given in the problem. So let's take a look at it. We have the two workers here. What is the rate of the work? What is the rate of the work for the maid one? If I come back in one hour, what portion of the job is done by the maid one? So, Nick, what do you think that would be the answer? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, we have the two workers here. The rate of the work was given as one-third and one-sixth. In other words, this is the amount of the job, the fraction of the job that can be completed within an hour. Okay, let me ask you, Sunny. If, if it takes you three hours to complete a test, if I come back in one hour, what portion of the job, what portion of the of that test you're done with? One over three. Exactly. So your rate, if you complete the task, the whole job in three hours, if I come back in one hour, you'll be one, you're, you'll be done with one third of the job. Then very good. So the rate for the first worker here is one over three. Ryan, what would be the rate for the second maid here? One sixth. Very good. So the rate for the second maid is one sixth. Remember the question here again. It says one maid can clean the house in three hours, and the other maid can clean the house in six hours. If I come back in one hour, the first maid should be done with one third of the job, and the second worker here will be done with one sixth of the job. That's the rate of the worker. Uh, what would be the time since they're working together? So, Nate, can you tell me what would be the time? Is their time is different or the same? Okay. The time. Work is the same for both of them because they're working together to finish the task, right? So the time is the same for both of them in this case because they're working together. Does that make sense to me? Yes. Yes. So one works faster than the other one, of course. Yes, you're, you're, you're correct. But since they're working together, 
P would be the time in hour for both of them to clean the house. Now, part of the task, part of the task here, part of the task would be the time that they worked multiplied by the rate of their work. So, so this, what would be the part of the task for the first worker here? One over three P. Exactly. So that would be one third times P. Brian, what would be the part of the task for the second worker here? One over six times T. Back to one over six times T. So, part of house cleaned by the first maid in three hours is T over three. Plus, part of the house cleaned by the other maid in six hours would be T over six. And this whole thing would be equal to entire house cleaned, which is one. So this is the equation that you need to uh, solve for. So I have T over three plus T over six is equal to one. Okay, uh, so Nick, how do you solve for T here? Find the LCD. Okay, what is the LCD? Six. Okay, what do you do with this LCD now? Second part of the first term to six, so you multiply the first term by um, two. Okay, um, to solve for t here, when you have an equation involving fraction, we so want to solve for the variable. Once you find the LCD, you don't add or subtract them, you just simply multiply each term by LCD to eliminate the fractions. So in this case, if I multiply the first term here by 6 over 1, you notice that I'm not adding or subtracting them. I'm not adding here. I'm just multiplying each term by 6 over 1 to eliminate the fractions. I get the linear equation out of this. Brian, uh, can you tell me what linear equation do we get once I do that? the first term, uh, 6 uh, over 1 times t over 3. Can I reduce this? Yes. So if I reduce this, uh, what does this become? From 1 and what does this become? Times 2. So the first term returns to what? Very good. The first term becomes 2t. So we need to the second term to become here. Um, t. So the whole thing is equal to what? Well, I'm um, 6. Why? Right. So, so you see how I change this equation here that involves fractions 
into a linear equation by simply multiplying each term by LCD. You notice that I didn't add or subtract these. I just changed the look of this equation into a linear equation by multiplying each term by LCD. So, to me, what is T equal to now? If I add this to what do I get? 3T equals 6, which T is going to be equal to. Okay, so it would be 2 hours then, right? So you take both of them, both take 2 hours to clean the house. So it looks like B is the correct answer here.